back to the broadcast. Well, you know, like Amy said before the break, you know when Chef Garth is here from Sub-Zero Wolf because something delicious is being cooked up. So welcome. Thank we you. We love Lisa. it when Glad you're here. Back. And so we were just talking to Johnny during the break. Johnny, you're getting married in 24 days. That's right. Okay, so you better learn how to chop chop in the learn. kitchen. I gotta learn. A little cra <laughs> crash course, literally speaking. I, I don't know. We'll see what we can turn around for today. But today's about fresh ingredients. It's springtime. Finally, we're getting a little break from that mm, cold weather. Farmer's markets Focus on open, Yes, yeah. and so many good ingredients are starting right now so we're gonna be doing a fresh English pea soup mm. but to doctor it up I like to add a little flavor to it you know a little fats good for you right so of course with me that's bacon of course and we're gonna do a little savory yes. whipped cream so Johnny you're, you're so good with the whole like you know your hands and the door and everything else we're gonna put you in charge <laughs> of the right. knife I'm gonna have you chop this up and I'm gonna trust you on a rough chop on that okay and and keep your fingers back tell I can tell what you what a rough chop is What's yeah that, that's good right there you'll slide it across and something to work on for knife skills eventually, Johnny, is to kind of work your fingers into a bare claw grip so your fingertips don't stick out. I taught my uh -oh. twin girls when they were four how to do that. Uh -oh. And That's I've got smart. a video of them doing it. Uh, now, I'm not allowed to take the knives out anymore when my wife's at Bunko because um, she wasn't too happy to hear that they were cooking with a 12-inch chef knife. <laughs> uh, but we're going to saute. These are spring onions, so okay. really fresh. I'll tell you one other item, Johnny. If you'll cut up a little bit of the leek in this area right here. So just cut it across and do some slices. Uh, we've got some garlic and some regular onion as well. Mm. These are going to be the aromatics. Mm. Uh, meanwhile, I've got some peas cooking, and we're actually steaming them so they don't get overdone. Oh my goodness, that smells Put good. Put some of this in. Wow. Yes, can we get that? Now, pop we're, that open. Lisa. We're Let's using our look. awesome wolf steamer, our wolf steamer. steamer here. And those are some fresh peas. We had to shuck them first. They just they cook in about four or five minutes. You can touch that. It's not too hot. We're using steam rather than just boiling them. Okay. Do you want me to put these in there? Yeah, why don't you dump those right in here, actually? Okay. This is going to be bad. I can see it's all going to go wrong. Nah, you're doing all right. And it's actually kind of hot. And actually, in, in terms of being hot, we're good with that. In terms okay. of being hot, I actually prefer the soup chilled. So it's actually good for like, if you're like an athlete or a busy mom or you know just a family that's constantly on the run, this is a good way to have something in the refrigerator. It's ready to go. We'll just get a little garnish. You know, I also. feel that way about soups all the time. They're just so great to, to freeze. Johnny, it's a good a good thing for you and your wife to do on the weekends, like make different kinds of soups and things and put them in different containers and sure. freeze them. Or have her do that and you clean up. There you so go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's my responsibility. No, you do it together. <laughs> that's the whole thing. Well, that's the together part. Us I cook girls and clean. love that. All right, let me dump these in, and we're gonna we're gonna puree this. I prefer Lisa to puree it with a, a big powerful blender because that'll make it really creamy. The Vitamix. Sometimes the Vitamix makes too much noise here, so it we're is, gonna it try is this. It's pretty noisy. I'm gonna add some water. I prefer chicken stock, but if you get some vegetarians, this might be a better setup. Johnny, will you grab one of those lemons for me oh and some goodness. salt? Okay, so I'm gonna take All the right. hand blender here. Just go ahead and drop that in there. Cool, bud. Lemon and salt. And a little bit of fresh. Again, pepper. I just love all the fresh ingredients, Garth. We'll hit it, so we'll puree that up. Always keep the blender below the water level so we don't make a mess here. And meanwhile, Johnny, I'm going to have you, again, a little a little on the healthy fat, kind of. We've got a local creamery. I made some, some savory whipped cream. It's a little bit different. If you want to toss some of that lemon zest, basil, and then that wasabi paste, we're going to put that right in here. I'll tell you, the folks at... Um, Apricot Lane at the Galleria are not going to be very happy if I get peas all over their beautiful top here. So you're handling that like a pro, so just dump that right in. Stir it up. Now I'm going to add, just to kind of add, add a little color to it, Okay. that's some wilted spinach, so that'll bring out the green even a little bit more. So, Johnny, now you've got that savory whipped cream. We put some wasabi paste in there. We put some lemon zest and then some fresh herbs. And that's what we'll garnish with. If you'll grab those three bowls, we Is can this plate this up. That looks great, Lisa. Okay. All right. Like I said, either hot or cold. It's so simple. It is. I'm, I'm big on letting the ingredients shine through. Yeah. Even if those ingredients are bacon. So we'll put a little, a little bit of bit bacon of on there. A little bit of wood bacon. Yum. Yeah, this is actually pecan smoked bacon oh, from okay. Home Smokehouse, which is a Texas company. You know, I'm big on, on doing as much Texas as possible. This is some gulp jumbo lump crab meat. 
So Garth, you know, we get people asking a lot, like where where can they, um, you know, we share your recipes with them at home, but where can they come and taste your that. food that you make? Where right. can they come watch you do it and taste the food? At my home at the Sub-Zero Wolf showroom off Lemon yeah. in Oakland. So we have a great time there, 20,000 square foot facility, just beautiful appliances. As you know, I know. you have at home. I have a wolf oven at home that I love so much. And um, Johnny, are you and your beautiful new wife going to be like redoing a kitchen or getting a new home or something? Maybe in the near future. Okay. We're, uh, we're excited for the wedding and the honeymoon, so that's what's on our plate next. Of course you are. <laughs> Where are y'all heading to? We're going to Maui. We're going to spend a week in Maui. Oh, oh I love Maui. Yeah, we're excited. That'll be a great break. Yeah. Well, try this out. See if this is going to work okay. for you once you get uh, into the home life. Mmm. Just fresh and good. And really with really the cream, the right? you kind of... And then you can work it in. So bacon. Yeah. Mm. And the bacon. Yeah. Can't go wrong That's good. Bacon. I like oh, that. Good. So good. Glad okay. You all it. Well, Garth is back with us in the next hour with more delicious recipes. And you want to stick around for that. And then at the end of the show, we always make a grown up milkshake, which is so fun. Is we fun. love that you do that. Uh, first, though, Johnny's going to head over and chat with Don after the break to talk about what he's been up to since the Olympics. Stick around. Yeah. Oh,